Streaming, honey. I don't know if you we have quality. Did you? I did. Oh, I'm proud of you. I just did. I don't know what. I just don't know if we have quality. We have quality. Yay! I'm still groggy, honey. Can you fill up my water bottles for me? Yeah. Um, okay. Sure she probably. Except to tweet out that you're playing Halloween. Yeah, I don't want to. I heard this game was shit. We're gonna find out. You've never played this before? I've never played this before. You don't know anything about it? I know there's shadow people and you have a flashlight and I think your character is unnecessarily angry or something. I think he's, um... Oh god, the volume. Ow! That was something I should have changed first and I didn't. That hurt. And I'm aware that I'm not even showing the game yet. That was a problem. Okay. Here. Okay, I'm lowering it to that. And we're going to hope that works. And, um, Carl, thank you for the host. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. Oh, the game. Honey, can you listen to the game and see how unnecessarily loud it is? Because it's it's pretty fucking unnecessarily loud in my own ear. I'll listen to it. I'm just, I'm waiting for it to pop up so I can actually transition over to it. There we go. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh my god, are we ready for Alan Wake, guys? Are we waiting for Alan Wake, Carl? I don't even know why I'm playing this. Make I'm sure Moonlight Gamer. Thank start. you for the bits, Moonlight Gamer. Can you stop talking to me? I don't care about subtitles. I don't think anyone cares. Everybody does. They're enabled now. There's extras. Statistics, playback. That's the best extras you could possibly hope for. It's really not. So, I know nothing about this other than, I think you're a writer. There's a flashlight with spoof, spooky so, shadow people. That's it. So, we're going to do a new game. Um, no one cares about subtitles. Shut up, Sajda. Carl, thank you for the 65 bits! Bleed purple bonus? What? Why is where Bleed purple. Oh, bleed purple. Oh, that's what that, that's what that is. I don't know what that is. Okay, thank you for the biddies. I just woke up. I took a nap. I had a very good nap, and I was having a very good dream. And Isaac woke me up going, It's sound almost seven. Fun. Why are you sleeping? What? Sound sounds fun. Okay, well, I'm going to keep this on... I'm going to use easy, just like how Isaac is going through Dragon Age. Good except choice. I'm not a pussy, so I'm going into normal. No, no. <laughs> what? You're going to get frustrated. Is it that bad? It's... You're gonna get brushed. Oh my god. New game. Easy. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. Here, you could probably in a horror story, a the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest. And it's what we'll remember in the end. The body. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. You're a shit writer from the sound of it. Yeah, boost the game a little bit. Oh my god. I can't just boost the game a little bit. I, I just... Hold on. It just, it just pauses the entire thing to do this. And now we've ruined the entire stream. Everything's been ruined because Isaac doesn't know how to prep in advance. I've always had a vivid imagination. But this dream unsettled me. It Fuck was my wild Microsoft. and dark and weird, even by my standards. Bodhi. So yes, it began with a dream. Look at them. Following it a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Do you get into an accident? Oh, no, you run over someone because you're an idiot. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Hitchhikers aren't supposed to stand in the middle of the road. He probably deserved it. He looks dead. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Who the fuck is Alice? Welcome to Silent Hill.
wow, nice driving. Is this going to be another one of those games where by the end of it, it's going to be all like, oh, it was all in his head? I'm going to be so angry. Episode one is about a nightmare. Crash. I could hardly stand my feet. That's that's you hardly standing on your feet. You stumbled to the left slightly. I like how they have the whole like you can tell he's a good hero because look at this jacket with his his pads. Look up up the light. Reverse your controls for looking up and down. No, I'm fine. You can change camera settings in the menu. Okay, that's nice. Use L to walk. I'm just gonna go home. There's. This is not how tunnels work. I was certain I had just driven from this direction, but now the road was blocked. Well, da 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 da. da. I'm gonna get it. What? Are you serious? I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Guys, he's so stuck up as a writer, he keeps all of his books in his trunk to hand out randomly to people. If I remember correctly, that <coughs> isn't how the game ends, by the way. I don't remember, though. From also. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. The radiator broke af after I hit the hitchhiker. But what hitchhiker? See, this is why you can't run over zombies, guys. Because the radiators just break. It's just... Anyways. Yeah, no spoilers! You hate his jacket? I hate his jacket, too. I like how... No, what I was saying about his jacket was... It's that stereotypical, look at the layers on his outfit. And then he's doing the whole, I've got a hoodie underneath my cool jacket. It's not even a cool jacket. It's like some sort of piece of... Is this corduroy? God... Ugh. Honey, corduroy, ew. Do you want to know what's wrong with corduroy? I don't have enough time to tell you what's wrong with corduroy. God. What? <laughs> the game's like, hey, don't you want to go this way? And I'm like, I want to go. I do want to go this way, actually. Get to the lighthouse. I'm just going to walk there. What happened? Oh. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Well, you're probably the. I think you're gone. Probably you crazy. think you can just make up stuff, play with people's lives, and kill them when you think it ends? Oh. Drama. You're in this story now, and I'll make you. Do Ow. You're a joke. It would be a single readable sentence in your books if it was. What what do you guys bet? What? Really? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Audio is shit, so we're gonna drop the effects down a little. We're gonna definitely drop the music down. No, you can't hear anything really. Raise just raise all of the volume. Really, it's that low? It's really low. Oh my god, hold on. I have it. Why is this game so low? I don't know. It's an older game. It means nothing. And Steam doesn't really support it anymore. I wouldn't want to support it. Well, they, they had to take it down for copyright issues. You're they did? Runner. Yeah. Oh. Cheap. Wait, from who? From a lot of different places. They That's lost all the, you're um, good for. Just look at me. <laughs> Did you even raise the volume? Yes. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Um, go into the settings, make sure it's not in surround Honey, sound, make it's... sure it's stereo. Because it's... I can't hear it, I'm telling you. Guys, how's the volume for you? Because there is no surround sound, there's no okay. options like raise that. the actual volume. I it did, sense. it's actually getting really loud in my ears. Lower it on that. It's pretty low on this. It's, yeah. Everything except for dialogue is okay. That's why I was trying to lower the other stuff, and Isaac was like, no, don't. Don't listen to Xano. He, I'm listening to it right now. But I can raise everything else, and the speech will sound louder without it blowing my eardrums for sound effects and shit. That's the problem. Okay, I'm done helping. No, I need the help, but I need you to stop saying you're not doing it right. 
Because I'm at 60%. I'm putting it up to 80 right now. It's at 82. Why is there a QR code here? I'm using my phone. What? 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 I'm trying to do a QR code reader here. Um, Facebook.com Alan Wake. Are you fucking serious? It's their fucking Facebook page. <laughs> Press A to jump. That's how he jumps. Oh, that's that's his jump. Oh, yay. You missed your deadline. Oh my god, everyone's upset at me because I missed my deadline. Press. It's fine. I know you it's fine. Stop me. Try it again. Dodge the attack. Oh. You just gonna vanish? Good work. Successful I dodges are sometimes. The hitchhiker was a oh. character from the story I've been working on. Really? The hitchhiker was a character from the story you've been working on. And he was all like angry because you killed him. I'm trying to just run, Wolfie. It's ow. The gate opens now. He's lighthouse, checkpoint reached. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? I don't know. Oh. I really want to die in that. That's how he died. Like three times than the game. What? I am? Yeah. You can. How does it feel to more? die by the hands of your own creation? <sighs> the game is at a hundred now. I can't raise it anymore, beyond. I'm just gonna run. It sounds perfect. At a hundred. Yeah. Guys, how does it sound to you? I mean, granted, you're not gonna hear much because the sound effect is a little low, but... Is it following? How do I know if it's following? Oh. Because of that. Why is he so slow suddenly? He gets tired. He gets tired? Really tired at the moment. This way, this way. Well, I don't know where his stamina bar is or anything. Hurry. Well, this guy looks super distorted. Hello. Don't worry, I did it. Mr. Wink, it's me. Play steward, remember? Who? Quickly, get inside. There's no time to lose. You know me? You know me in my books? Ow. Just leave him out. No, leave him outside. It's okay. He's bait. Stop. No. Damn it, die. No. Die, damn it. No. And you're going to just stand there while this happens. Oh. Look how upset this guy is. I was trapped. There was no way out. But the refrigerator is open. Why is the refrigerator moving like this? Hello. Okay. Hey, Tom the Poet. That's not me. Why are there so many TV sets? The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. Really? I didn't know. If only we knew how to get out of this cabin. I don't really know how. Let's push this again some more. Hi. Oh, what? Follow the light. Oh, thanks, God. 
Jeeva saved me. Oh wait, but this is over here. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Oh, thanks God. You're very nice. Stay in safe haven until you're completely healed. God saved me. Well done. I have something important to tell you. Yes, it Jesus. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? Yes, no. Ephesians chapter oh, 2, life. verse 13. Uh -oh, oh, God's recreating the stairs. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. Thank you, Jesus. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The most important thing? Don't worry. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable oh, again. okay. Here, take the light. What, what light? Oh, oh my god, Jesus, thank you. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Press left trigger to boost the light. This is... I'm just holding a flashlight with two hands and suddenly I can boost it. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Oh my god, Jesus gave me a gun. Thank you, Jesus. Well then. <laughs> Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. I don't want you to- Jesus, come back to me. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. This is just a dream. The lighthouse was the last <coughs> on Earth. I really wish I had some water. <gasps> water! Isaac got me bottles of water. He just didn't show me. It was next to you! It was within arm's reach! I love you. The boosted light with the LT binds blinds the enemies and burns the darkness away faster. Oh, okay. But apparently it also uses a battery. Way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Reload. This this is okay. So I have to shine a flashlight in people's faces and then just shoot them when they can't see. I sound like a murderer. This is it, witch. Okay, let's go to the flat. Let's go to the house. Oh, you can tap it to reload faster, but look. Checkpoints reached. Open this. What is this? It's an emergency box. A flare gun. Use this- I guessed that. Oh, flare. What does the flare do? Is it like instant? <clears throat> oh no, a flashlight, my one weakness. Oh no, a flashlight, Alan Wake's only weakness. It's because he doesn't have anyone. I mean, he's so fucking full of himself. He keeps a whole bunch of books in his trunk. And he's all like, oh my god, my own creations have come to life to torment me. Wow. Oh. The flare is really nice. Well, what's this way? Nothing. Let's go. Let's get over here. Because the light looks like it'll save us. Why? Why? Why won't the light? Oh no, he's coming after us again. We need to run! Oh. That was unfortunate. I can tell where the cars are gonna land from the barrels. I'm too tired to run anymore. 
Oh, that, that was unfortunate. Someone needed that, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's empty now, but... I need this, I need this. I also need this coffee, this thermos, what is this for? Thank you. It's a collectible. There's a hundred of them in the game. There's a hundred thermoses you're supposed to find. Ice cream? I want ice cream. I want frozen yogurt. From Menchie's, honey. With berries. Strawberry syrups. And then dark chocolate shavings. Why? Cream doesn't always mean ice, you're just drinking a cup of cream. Oh my god, everyone, he's here. Alan, the famous writer. Wake up. Alan, wake <gasps> up. <laughs> Baby, just another nightmare. Ew. Everything's fine. You dosed off. Right. Anything more than you dosed look like off that, um, is for everyone. That Birkin woman. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Except you're constantly smiling and I'm upset at your lips. Alan Wake looks like a douchebag. He's he's got rapist face. What? He does! Hey honey, look, we're here. We're at Bright Falls. Is this gonna be one of those he has such a difficult time being a writer that he needed to move everything to a different location just so he could write better? Cause it's so difficult to write for him. Oh, food is here. I don't want to talk to her. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. I don't want to sure. stand there. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Yuppies. Did he just... Did he just... Did he just, like, sit there and tell her you're an idiot? Basically? He's all like, yeah, sure. You'll, stupidest thing I could possibly do. Old rape face, a terrible ailment. <laughs> Oh, Wolfie, don't have bad internet. Not now. Here. Just hi. Oh my god, it's Stan Lee. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Deerfest. It's not that? even beer fest. What is wrong with this old man's head? Lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hello, Pat yeah, Main. I'm Alan Wayne. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I, I don't want to talk to you. Presumptuous of me, but I'm Just a, a couple night host more. at the local radio station. Oh my god, Any she's blocking me. No. Oh, look, Mr. Maine. Yes. I'm on vacation. Wow, he's a dish. I what happened to my I have to keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this well, Dean. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you or yours or have anything to do with you because you make me disgusted and sick. Also, you got less hair on your head than you did when you were Stanley. She's wearing boots with. Look! Look at her like. Jacket. What happened to my onion rings, honey? They're right next to you. Shaped oh, like onion rings. this bag? I didn't know that was a bag of onion rings. I'm getting my stuff out here. I'll talk to her Very while we. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. I didn't make a friend, right. woman. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. That's my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals Stan getting in trouble? Is not just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, Stan we're fine. Great, great. That's Stan Lee. Make sure you can relax and recharge. Oh. <laughs> so, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? You've got a beautiful float. Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Oh. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? 
Barry is Burton. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Wow. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. No. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin. I know it's an older home. game, but the fact Carl's that her mouth just moves with no emotion is funny. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say fifteen minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Totally Xano. <laughs> I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. I, I was <laughs> wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest the, fan. Uh, uh, I know people say that all the time. The cut out right there? Why? I'm glad to hear that. You're a diner, not a bookstore. <laughs> I'm looking for Mr. Stucky. Carl Stucky? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore <laughs> when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Does it look like you. him? No. <laughs> it doesn't look like him at all. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. It looks like Colin Farrell being angry with more hair. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, Everyone knows me. Us. Everyone knows me. <laughs> I'm famous, guys. Hey, bikers. Favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! All I have to say is I'm the Alan Wake. I don't he do anything like that for people. Drink them both up just because I just took it. Brothers. Don't think I won't oh. You so you would have had to have gone around them because this cart is so conveniently in your way. Are you yes, waiting for the toilet, miss? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Oh my god. Oh my god. The bathroom, guys. Oh my god. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Oh. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And for sure, funeral wife. lady. I insist. Thanks. You insist? I'm renting from you, bitch, and I'm the Alan Wake. You are old. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Wait. I came here to talk to Carl Stuffy, and it's like, leave the diner. He may be in the bathroom, but leave the diner. Okay. Bye, Carl. I'm so glad I got a chance to spend some time with you. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Is she hugging this a lantern? That's... And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. That's how you burn yourself. That's that's not how you hold those lanterns. That's actual fire in those, usually. Um. Look. Edith? Edith is it. I think that you need to realize it's not a baby. Even that sounds better than your singing. Wow. Are you alright? <laughs> Why does every suspicious woman wear a veil? Like Bayonetta. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. 
The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh, that might be them. Um, also there's a creepy lady back there. And I was looking for Carl Stuckey, but apparently I'm not anymore, and my wife is... I'll be heading back to work as Why didn't you come inside with me, bitch? Why is she sitting outside just honking? Mission accomplished. No, it wasn't! And the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! You're... Your keys! We wouldn't have had that problem if we actually met up with Carl. That was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a place. Filling up We're the car? We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when Is we that, um... Home. Okay. Okay. Is that code for blowing the mechanic? So I don't trust her. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Again. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. Now I'm not successful, even though everyone knows me. Years. Not since my last book. My last book was two years ago, but everyone has cardboard cutouts of me everywhere. <laughs> what, man? They're already talking over the music in the game. Oh my god! No! This music is beautiful! Oh my god, I hate my wife! She's not even following me out of the car again! She's like, I need to go fill up the car. I'll be right back. Wow. That's gorgeous, Alec. It's something, alright. Don't worry, honey. We just I'll left the car. I'll get you safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I what know. is this? I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. She had a phobia. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Oh, okay. That's why I'm running up the hill and away from her. Charlotte Bronte only wrote one bird. Who is Charlotte Bronte? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Now you have a ton of flashlights to beat the darkness monsters in your fucked up head? Yeah, seriously. I found the car, honey! The cabin obviously got its name from the oh shape God. of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. What's the point in these collectibles? So your wife is a relatable character? No, she's really not. How is she relatable? Because she gets scared in the dark? Why? Wow. I like how your wife is the one that's scared in the dark. And you, the douchey husband, hold on to the flashlight for her. You know who should have the flashlight? Probably the person that makes it make her feel more comfortable. Do you want a pocket flashlight? I mean, that'll help you in life, but I guess we'll never buy you one of those. They're so expensive. <laughs> I really hate this whole, this cinematic look. Thank you. There we go. Oh, birds. Bye, birds. I like it. We could just change over the shoulder. Now we're in the center. <laughs> This is how, um, this is the dynamic focus, where it's like, the bottom left, or the bottom right corner of the screen. I'm looking for coffee thermoses. Everyone is afraid of the dark, what? But are you alone in the dark? Oh my god, isn't that what this game is based off of, alone in the dark? I'm pretty sure there's a coffee thermos out here somewhere. I found a shed. This is beautiful. I love this. Honey, you want to go to a place like this? Okay. I can't get into the shed for some reason. I don't even know where the fucking door is. Is this the door? That's not a door. Where the fuck is the door? You think it'd be here? Oh, it's right here. 
<laughs> An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Let there be light achievement. I did it. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I should have just left them off. Okay. okay. I'll look around a bit. Yeah, I'm looking around. It's so much I can look around. Oh my god, I'm not allowed to look around. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. Um, you've been forgetting about your work for two I years. We can be happy here. It's a vacation. It's a vacation. You're gonna be just happy here, that's it. What's that green thing on the porch? I need it. It won't let me run. Return to Alice. I don't want to. She's probably inside. Hello, Pom! What? I can't get over there. I should have remembered. Okay, we're gonna have to go through the house. Going this way. Alice? Honey? Honey, where are you? Honey, I got a I got another coffee thermos thermos. I have three of these. They're empty, but they're everywhere. Kind of like my cardboard cutouts. Yeah. Yep. The old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. Um It's on. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Oh my god. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him Oh in. yeah, they're talking about me. Let's uh, go to the phones. Call her. You're on KBFFM. Hi Pat, it's Rose. Well, hello Rose. Are you going to talk about how you met me? I know who that famous artist was. Oh my god. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here too. Well... Oh, yeah. Secrets out. This is Pat Main. I'm KBFFM. Now it's music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. You're not going to keep a low profile. You know why? You walked into places where your card were cut out. It could be seen through windows. The water was black. I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. Maybe that'll help you write your newest book, sir, who hasn't written a book in two years. Your wife is wondering why mo no money is coming in. Yep. Rose, you big mouth. <laughs> what? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. It better be your vagina. Oh my god. Surprise! That, that's not you naked. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. He's gonna get Alice, pissed off at her. You, everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Doctor Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No. Oh my God. It's not like that. <laughs> that's not. Alan. <laughs> Alan. I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Oh, God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to help me? Fuck you! No! Ugh! She made a super sweet gesture. Alice? Alice? Alice! Oh my god. The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Oh my god. Wait. Alice, where are you? No, my wife. I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. No, my wife who? What the hell?
I like how she just screams over and over. Alice? Oh no, she got taken! Probably by the birds. Oh no! Oh no, she fell into the water! She doesn't know how to, to breathe under there! <clears throat> no Jesus handouts, why not? Keep going, Alice. Wake up. Alice? My car. Alice was never real, guys. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. Why are you in a crashed car? I couldn't remember how I got there. Yeah. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. Well, she fell into the water and she can't breathe under the there. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. <laughs> no, she fell underwater. She doesn't know how to breathe under there. Someone fix that, honey. Fix that spelling. She feel underwater? Look at this. What is this? Among Alice's things was a book. The Creator's Dilemma. That's not Dr. my book. Neil Hartman. Seeing the book. She was cheating on me. Fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Oh my god. That's not my smug face on the cover. So obviously, I don't like it. Which way am I going? There's so many different ways to go. <laughs> oh my god. Among Alice's things, Oh my god, stop it! Book, the Creator's Dilemma oh no. by a Dr. Emile Hartman. <laughs> Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. No, don't go down there. Oh my god, the down power lines. Being right here would probably fry him, I think, in real life. The gas station was my best bet. No? They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get yes. there. Yes, honey. That's not how electricity works. It is. It doesn't fall through the air, honey. It does. Through the air, through the ground. Through the air everywhere. Through the ground. Where I pound. No, my car! Oh, it had that book in it? We don't care. Um, the lights are still on? I'm proud of that car. Wait, what if there's a coffee? I don't care about the fucking coffee thermoses. Let's be real. Um. Come on, game, change my mind. I heard this was a crap game. <laughs> um, so far, this story is Hello? laughable. Oh my god, Jesus! Jesus! Hello? Is someone there? It's just your lord and savior. <gasps> Giving me a page of my new book. Is that what that is? Is it gonna be like my new book? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next oh novel I had never gotten started. Oh my God. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Is he in a fucking coma and this game's gonna be all like you've just woken him up from the coma by a nameth? The man be turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the act. Whatever. Departure by Alan Wake. Oh. Anyways, it was nice. It was it was beautiful. So we can read the entire book when we're done. I'm so glad. It's so pretentious. <laughs> you better predict the game than the game itself. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Let's go over here. What's over here? What's over he Oh my god. What's over here? Nothing. I swear, it's like you could hide, like, coffee thermoses over here, and only the hardcore devotees of the game would find it, but they don't do it. Let's go back to the road. 
We gotta get to the gas station, guys. I like how you can Anybody tell. There? Please, oh, I've no. been in an accident. Oh no, I'd be scared. Except I don't have a flashlight, and therefore it's not a bad guy. I can jump off of this. I can just end it all. But then I don't know how far back the game would put me. Do you consider yourself one of those hardcore devotees? No, no, no. You see a game within a game. Stop it! The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. It'd be weirder if he did it in third person. Yeah. I'm trying not to look for the thermoses, but part of me is like, yo, find them thermoses. I'm just like, no, why? I can just climb through here. This is fine. Caution. Employees must wear eye wear protective eyewear at all times. Hazardous environment. All visitors must visit the site office. It's a hazardous site that we're going to climb into because a tree fell. And the eyewear would have protected the employees from the fallen tree. Oh my god, I fell off the tree. Hold on. Let's get on then again. You're done. Oh my god. Nice room. Ah, oh, southeast of my equator. Thank you for the follow. Accident. He's been hey. in an accident. Wait, what? Hey, what is you this? Failed. There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh hell. Carl Stucky. Please to beat you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Mr. Stucky. Now I'm gonna pick this up. Where'd he go? Mr. Stucky, I don't think you understand. I did nothing wrong. I was just looking for a flashlight after my wife drowned herself. I lost the deposit, don't worry. I'm inside here. Oh god, here's Chucky! I mean Jackie. Now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in the shining. Oh my god, he referenced it! Oh my god. I'm so glad I got batteries. I'm so glad I got more batteries. I, I wasn't about to open the door your... as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. I found revolver I'm ammo. It's the latest thing. Incontestably. The phone never yes. works. Proven. Oh. Right fall, Sheriff. Sure. Hello? 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 You can oh. see the sights. And keep those cholesterol levels. This is bad. Uh oh. Well, of course I have to go out this way. It's fine. Ow! Okay. There you go. I with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. No, oh, yes, you I did. Killed Before. Someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough what to is, make me what sick. What is with this yellow stuff that's not there when I don't flash? Eerie hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Why is there a chest of supplies? Oh. It's 
there anything else? I got a flare gun with one flare. He just started shooting people? Yeah. So if I find... Okay, so if I find the paint, follow it. Like there. Is there a coffee thermos here? I want to press this. I don't need to. <clears throat> We're gonna do this. I just kicked that! I just kicked it! The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. I have to get to the gas station. Why am I going to the gas station? Because I crashed my car? It doesn't seem like the best place to go when you've crashed your car. It's rabbit season. It's rabbit season? Is that what you just said, Elmer Fudd? Ow! I did not mean to shoot that. Why was that auto-equipped? Why the fuck did that get auto-equipped just because I picked it up? Oh my god. So, like, um, sir, did you mean to, like, pick up the flare gun? Okay, obviously that's what you're gonna be using from that one. It's not. It's not, because I didn't want to. Like, no, that's what you should use. You know what I see? I see a page for my book! Oh, Rose daydreams about wake and wake fights taken with the light. It's okay. It's, it's fine. We don't need to read things. Not right now. Maybe later. Okay. Bad game design. Yeah, freaking hell. So every time you pick up a weapon, you're just going to be auto-equipped with whatever you pick up. I know where I'm supposed to go. I'm just checking. It's over here. We have the giant light sitting there and showing us. Why? These this, these sparks of electricity? Why aren't those upsetting the guys? Oh my god! Mysterious funeral woman! What the hell was that? It was, it was a premonition. That funeral woman is up to no good because she handed us keys when Carl Stuckey was supposed to. Now Carl Stuckey is just angry. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. You mean like this? This is pretty across. <clears throat> this is pretty across. I don't know why we're having problems with the whole idea of having to find a way across. Oh my god! A coffee thermos. There's a hundred of those guys, did you know? It showed me and stared me in the face and said, A hundred thermoses. Find them. And I was just like, please, sir, why? Why do you do this to me? And it was like, find them. Is the whole water just coffee? It is. That's why the thermos was there. It's an altar to pay tribute to the gods of coffee. All hail Starbucks. <clears throat> For the great smoke of chew. For the great smoke of chew smoketh, and what he smoketh goeth well with coffee. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking. I found a manuscript page. I also found a place that we can just... Hey, I know that building. I was in there. And then it wasn't there. Now it's down here. For the great smoke that you have the caffeine and it was good. For he smoketh, he breweth. Well, I mean, coffee and cigarettes, guys. Jeez. Great smoke at you. Ow, I have a small headache. It just popped up, honey. You want me to get your medicine? No, it's going to go away in a second. Like, am I going that way, or am I going this way? I feel like there's nothing, there's nothing over here. I'm going this way. I, I hate the stamina bar thing, because I don't know where it's supposed to be going. There you go. 
I'm saving my batteries because this apparently redoes itself. Hey, look, gas can. I'm just gonna knock this shit everywhere. Let me knock this one over. There we go. Yeah, you take that barrel drum. Let's go up this way. <laughs> this is great. Oh, look, caution! You can't read the sign while you shine a flashlight at it. Proceed at your own risk. Logging area ahead. I want to read it better. Oh, it makes it worse. This doesn't. Oh, up here. He's such a slow climber. This is why your wife is dead. She's probably fine. You figured out that if you turn on the he heating pad for your cat, he won't demand you to turn into a bed. It's true. Isaac used to have a warming blanket that we turn on for Tiger. <coughs> and Tiger would sleep on it. But then we got them the kitty beds slash dog beds, and Tiger went fucking batshit insane. And now he just don't, never wants to leave his little kitty bed. Look at all the batteries I have. It's like, hey, why don't you put some batteries back in your flashlight instead of just letting it recharge? Okay. <laughs> I could just, just do this. That was a lot easier than, you know, running things. Wow. Never meet a barrel you can trust. You have to destroy every barrel. Every Barrels are hiding things from you. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. That's a real big surprise that the staircase was broken in this town of many broken staircases that Jesus had to mend for me earlier. But that's fine. <coughs> More batteries. Did you notice how they said energizer on them? How much ammo do I have? I have 42. Big open area. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Uh oh. I have to find a generator now. Oh, there's one. Do you know what's gonna cause a bunch of enemies to pop up? A generator. Ow! Ow. Excuse you. Ow! There we go. This is the best mini game ever. It looks like a cassette player. I gotta reach that path. Oh. Look, there's a light in it. Am I healing slowly? Just over time. Found a manuscript page. Wake attacked by birds. I heard them before I saw them. Oh my god. Down from the sky he did hear them before he saw them. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. Oh my god, the cloud. Instant, I stared into a hundred dead I know it's a PewDiePie the reference, Wolfie. in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. <clears throat> I could hear your scream above theirs. Hey, a shotgun. Guess what I'm auto-equipped with? Let me switch that out. Shotgun, yay. Do you know what I want? Not a shotgun. Like another flare would be nice. Oh. <laughs> I picked it up telekinetically. What's over here? Um. The. Okay. <laughs> That's not how buckets are supposed to be on the ground by not being on the ground. 
Okay. What's fun? What's fun, Tom? What are you talking about? Move log lift. There's something on it, and it fell off. There we go. I like how I didn't have to figure out exactly where I need to put it. It was just pretty obvious. What game? This game? The game? The game. What game? I don't know what game you're talking about. All I saw was you saying, It's fun, unlike Dead by Daylight. I don't know what you're talking about. He just keeps putting random things in the show. It's fine. Oh my god. Kick that. We got a checkpoint. I've reached a checkpoint. Do you know what that means? It means I'm the best writer here. We're going up this way because the stairs were over here and I feel like there should be something here. Oh my god, it's the manuscript. Also, that's the way to the gas station, so I guess we're gonna go this way. Also, that manuscript, Wake Finds Pages. At first, I kept finding the pages as if- Oh my god, he's writing his own story right now. If this game ends with him being all like, I finished my new book, honey, I'm gonna be so angry. Talk about well, me. I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night I am. I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mmm, fog water the air. It's absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Yeah. Two listeners now want <clears throat> When it's on nights like this, I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. But here I am, and I would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Hello Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, on his walkies. Isn't beautiful out there. Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that you know. <laughs> and Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's just too dumb for it. Oh, good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. So, just so you guys know, that means there's a dark doggo out there we're going to have to shoot. Pretty sure that's what it means. <laughs> I I don't know why I had to uh, listen to that, honestly. I have a flare gun. Okay. Yeah, that was great. Okay, we're going this way. <clears throat> Can I get more hit points or something? It's not my fault, Buckles. The game's gonna make me do it. The gas station was closer now. Yeah, I can it's see it right there. It's like welcoming in the darkness. It was. I had to scratch my ear. Monster dog. They're talking about dogs. I see an axe. A 
can you like move? He's stuck! Are you fucking serious? Oh, that's rage inducing. He just got stuck and wouldn't do anything. Do I have to go back to this? Let me double check. I should have all that. No, I don't. You have to redo whatever you did from your fucking original checkpoint. It's brilliant. <clears throat> Maybe it's your sidekick, a dog that writes your books. Oh my god. Yes. In the end, you'll find all this was started by a dude on the book that was his name, Hartman, and that he's using psycho magic to create monsters? Nah. The gas station was closed. <laughs> it's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Belly Burster is the best with no coat. The monster dog is second best. The famous dog is... <laughs> Oh. There you go. All we needed to do. What? There's a bad guy out here somewhere, but where? Safe haven, it says. What is with this wind and everything? I'm in a safe haven, you dumb fucks. I like how the safe haven wasn't even a, uh, a save point. Safe haven. Ow! Oh, they're just gonna keep on coming. Ow! Yeah, this game is... Ugh, annoying, to say the least. <clears throat> on some things. Now, you're allowed ten batteries. The wind will make you kill yourself. Are you serious? I have two flare guns, which is better. I'm waiting for that logging tool to come alive. So let's just walk under it. It's not. It is, sort of. Oh, 
I wasn't dealing with three of them. Oh, look at that. Stuff just swinging. Well, let's get this page. While that just moves on its own. <laughs> My god. Dear physics engine, why? <clears throat> um, we have five, we have, like, light bulbs that we can put on our lamp, honey. We're going here. Is this... Are you fucking serious? You're not allowed more than 20 batteries? More shotgun ammo. Yay. Gore shadowing. Is this gonna be someone's eyeball again? Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Is this the Twilight Zone? Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. The prince of such a legacy is steep indeed. No. <clears throat> it's Night Springs. Tonight's episode, a quantum suicide. Oh my god. If our lives are already written, look at this guy, it's a real person. Change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen I don't like it. of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin. What is what? And I'm glad so many of you could join me here. <laughs> The Moorcock Institute. The Moorcock Institute. Moorcock guys. Do you want less cock or more cock? The many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. Shoot someone. It shall be part of a thought experiment, and now a real experiment, known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding. Oh my god. Please, please. Stay calm. There's <laughs> no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, wow. I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. You can with if you each press it wrong. the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire. And one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time okay. you pull a trigger what? in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely <laughs> trivial. There's an infinite number of things oh. that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Game. Oh my god, he, he, un he undid it! He unplugged the machine! <laughs> oh my god! Wait, I'm bloody on my forehead. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. Well, that was a beautiful episode. I'm glad we could watch that. This is great. <sighs> this is gore shadowing. Hey, it's 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 him. Oh, no. Oh, 
Are you fucking serious? There's more! Where'd he go? Oh my god, he's dead. Did he drop Stucky's something? His body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares oh to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights at the gas station alive. Look at look look at this. It's all like, do you need more batteries and ammo? I think there's some in here. <laughs> Forty two is the maximum. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're just. Oh my god! A coffee thermos. My life is complete. I got another one. What do these do? What do you want, honey? I killed Carl. I did. I'm sorry, Carl. That's how you open a game. I'm looking for coffee thermoses, honey. What do you want from me? Okay. What? Oh my god, look at the deer. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls it's when beautiful. I first arrived with Alice. Look at the beautiful car. Oh. Maybe not so beautiful. They just stuck this in the backyard. A checkpoint reached by sitting there and touching the gate. Oh my god. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting, at least for a moment. <laughs> the same world reasserted itself. You can't itself. get on top of the, the, these trash bins. They move like they're cardboard boxes. Hey, I found another page of my manuscript. Stucky taken. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, Things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling, caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Stucky's dead. Did I just backpedal when I did that? What the hell was that? <clears throat> I know I need to go to the gas station, but coffee thermos. I'm not supposed to be going that way or this way. What happens if I don't enter the car? The the, the I gas had to station? get inside the gas station to find a phone it's to call for help. Game, so if you fuck with shit, you're the not garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Let me guess. Your wife really I'm died of this. cancer or some shit in the past, the and you just imagine crazy. everything coming here. Was I losing my mind? It's just, none of this is real. Nordic walking, yay! Inconsistently proven health results. Incontestably proven results. Hey, there's no one here. Can I use the register instead of the phone? There's no speaker phone on this. Well. Hey. You could be my new wife, except you have pinched up bitch face. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, 
I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Yeah. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. We'll figure Please it out get together. In the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Go to the station together. Mr. Wade, <clears throat> have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I killed him. I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Alice isn't real. You have no real loves. You're a writer. Jeez. What what is with his face? What is with her face? What is with his face? Ah. <laughs> Thank you for playing this game with us, guys. It's over. We just finished it. As he talks about something and sings about something we don't know about. But then there was sprinkles on the ice cream cone. And this is the end of episode one. Why are there episodes? Oh, it's everything's gone because we dropped the ice cream cone. I'm so sad I dropped my ice cream cone. It's on the floor melting with the rest of the grass. Which is also melting. And I don't care. Shut up. Oh, look, I hit New York three sit years ago. I think you got an ending. I think you should end it here. Yeah. Didn't Isaac do that with Clock Tower 2? No, I actually got an ending. That was an ending. That was an ending. That was an ending. No. That was an ending. She's gone. It was Twilight Zone. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Oh my god, why is he so ugly? Look at him! Is this supposed to be three years ago and he looks older than he did before? I'm sorry, I can't look at the camera. I can't see myself. It's just ugly. Ugly, 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 ugly. You're so beautiful. Look at, look at him. He's all like, I'm the best writer ever. No one ever found you attractive. I don't want to see you in bed. Oh my god, how did you affix the cabinets to the wall with bricks? That's some heavy-duty shit going on. Hey, I'm gonna turn this on. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. This is this is the apartment they have in New York. <laughs> this is the apartment they have in New York. Look how high up there is. Is there a roof over there? I can't tell. Oh, this is their New York apartment. Oh my God. Well, then again, he does have cardboard cutouts everywhere, and he is THE Alan Wake. So, of course, this is his New York apartment. I like how these things hide the radiators. Honey, why don't we have these in our home? I love those. This is where the TV would go, but we're too pretentious to have a TV. Oh, it's in a box. Go to Alice. I don't want to. I'm looking at the apartment. How many of these books have my name on them is what I want to know. All of them. All of them, including that Newton principal. Look at our new TV. It's a uh, CC um, TV. It's flat screen. It's in a box. There are no power outlets over here, so we don't know how we're going to power it, but we're going to put it up and it's going to be nice. He's ugly because he's straight. That's true. It is very true. Look, okay. So, soy sauce. I don't know. Probably pepper. Hot sauce? Pepper, salt. I don't know. Ketchup. That's, that's, no, that's where you put cooking utensils, not this. This is, and she only cooks Asian because, oh wait, no, that's not a wok. That's a, that's a frying pan. But she's got a mixer and a blender because obviously being the man in the relationship, Alan doesn't do any of the cooking. <laughs> Isn't that right, honey? <laughs> hey, I found a thermos. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. 
Oh, this is his desk. He's all like, I need an old-fashioned typewriter. You know what you need? A computer. Where you can hit backspace, you dumb fuck. Oh my god, this is what she does with her life. She takes pictures of her own husband. Look how attractive he looks there. Do you know what he doesn't look like? Any of this. This doesn't look like him. What about lemon juice? To what? Squirt in her eyes? And it'll make her better. At least she wouldn't have to stare at him. Examine the cover mock-ups. Okay. It's, it's on the desk. Oh my god, we know which one we're gonna go for. It's gonna be the one on the right. Oh my god, but we're These gonna choose. Really good. Oh my god, look at the cutout. Sure until Barry gets his hands on them, which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. Just the right. Last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan, Alan, please check the fuse box. You have. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Look at my books, guys. I wrote The Fall of Casey, The Things That I Want, Alex Casey, What I Can't Forget, Every Turn to Sender, and look at how they all look the I really same. Don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. Look at this. The new cover looks beautiful. Almost exactly identical. Pick up manuscript page. Where is it? Alan! I really need those lights on! You need to shut the fuck up! It's true what they say about the fall. <laughs> The sudden stop at the end. <laughs> she I making photos in a dark so room with her fear of darkness? No, not anymore. Did you see the ma the giant computer she has at her desk? Pretty sure she's gone digital. <gasps> I can open doors now. Look at our bathroom. Alan, please check the fuse box. It's in the hallway. Did you hear me when I said I was examining our house? You dumb bitch. Look, she doesn't even make the bed. There's one pillow. You know what that means? She sleeps on the couch like she's supposed to. This is the closet. There's nothing in here. Oh my god. Shut up! We're going on a tour of the apartment! This is the old leather chair that's really beautiful. I used to jack on this when I was single, but I keep it here for memory's sakes. These are the candles she put in the window. I told her not to, but she's a dumb bitch. And she doesn't listen to me. Um, I think there was another one. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Now, please. Uh, no. You look very upset. How are you doing? I'm just gonna stand here and look at you uncomfortably. Can I go through here? No. That door is locked. This is a really big apartment. Why were the photos hanging on a line then? Because... She's a pretentious wannabe artist. This is what she does. This is not a dark room. And there's this over here is his room. See? Oh. Wait. Oh my god, does she have a dark room in here? You just can't see it? How are you doing? I'm gonna go in the bedroom and see if you scream some more. Because that's what she does. Oh look! Those must be her pills. This is the his and hers sink. Both of them are dirty because she doesn't know how to clean. Um, this is a towel warming rack. That is a thing. This is electrified and it warms up towels. So you have a nice warm towel when you come out of the shower. But it's empty because the bitch hasn't done the laundry like she's supposed to. Um, this is the bathtub where I get to think my best thoughts while I masturbate. We used to have sex in the shower until we became a sexless marriage. And, um, she had to sleep on the couch. What? What? Honey, why? Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. I got the flashlight. It's, it's a full, oh, look at outside. Oh, we can still see. Honey, it's a power outage. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. Just, I just, just, it just really spooked me. Just stare Don't at her worry. face. Just we'll just point, break out the candles. Just point it in her face. Just point it in I her know, face. No, it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it. You know, it gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The oh. dark really spooked me too. Oh my god, her teeth. When it got really bad. My mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? The clicker. Yeah. 
If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, wow. sure. That's Here not something that really oh, works man. for children. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> Here. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. <laughs> Why is she hanging up by the window? Give me the photos for her dark room. Symbolism! <laughs> she doesn't actually know what she's doing. I look at the giant balcony they have, and no one else in the building has a balcony. This is the present day. I like how I read that is the president's day. <laughs> how do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? You're not a real doctor. I'm okay. My head's fine. Also, my I wife had drowned. To lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. He's mm, he's probably well. just gone crazy. Ma I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. For a couple of days. Thanks. What is on the back of his head? Does he have a giant scar? Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, well, that's hair. you should come see me. It's I'll let you get on weird. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. And he just brought your fish in here? You couldn't leave that in your car? I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Could oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very... Relevant. I can't shoot him, Kim. I just tried. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. You were called to the station to take a look at me. I wasn't even brought to your office. You brought the fucking fish inside? You couldn't leave that in your car? What is fucking wrong with you? And everyone in this town. This is what he looks like with stubble, remember. Look how much younger he looks now. Uh, just go down the corridor. No, I don't want to. It's nice and... I'm gonna go this way. I don't want to talk to Sarah. There's an ambulance out there because this will take us to the hospital. Hey, look. Breakers. In case when the power goes out. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you seen this man? He disappeared on 6 29 2007. Identifying features. Knack for winning contests. What? Is this someone who won a contest? Richard Brawl, Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller. On a camping trip overdue. Haven't been in contact. Have you seen them or know their whereabouts? Please call 555-9932. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Thank you. Okay. He won a contest. <gasps> the kitty cat! Tiger! That doesn't even look like Tiger. Mr. Wake? The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor? You look like someone's grandmother. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, oh, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. Who? As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs, of the whole town, Who? refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Is she talking about the lady that was hugging a lantern earlier? Because I don't know why she suddenly brought that up. Did I see a picture of her or something? What's going on? I'm just looking at your police t screen on your computer. The sheriff wants You're to not... see you in her office. Shut the away. fuck up, bitch. No one's talking to you. Let me go in here. I got another coffee thermos. Another manuscript page. Alice sees a shadow. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. 
No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Well then. <laughs> Just touchy yeah, police equipment. Here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. I'm just touching police stuff. Sheriff I'm... Breaker is waiting for you. Shut the, the hell up, office. woman. I'm interested in this cat. Alice was missing. I needed help to find her. <laughs> it won't let me I go wasn't out. Ready to leave. <laughs> it won't let me leave. Your phone, Mr. Wake. Have you started looking for my wife? Can yet? I have my flashlight my and my gun? Are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. <laughs> the cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to take Verizon it. sponsored this game. <laughs> so did it, Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. Did you can hear this? If you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need some fresh air. Can I go out in the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. <laughs> Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. It's just a lot to take in. I can't deal with this. Mr. Wake, much. can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Even though of I could go out here. Wake, I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the call. Alice's there. life was at need stake. One of our regulars. <laughs> what is going on with this? He went on a bender the and began to they won't, badly. They don't he understand. Like they won't listen to me. I I need it to be bright in here. Yeah. You look like you got one hell of a herpy on your upper lip. I'm gonna go in hey, here. Hey, you! Can you help me? In spite of its human mask. To describe oh it. fuck it! Can you turn? Hey, please help me, man! I'm turning the lights on. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you to. No! Why'd you do this? <laughs> you're with them, aren't you? You were those. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. Oh. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. But there's a thermos over here and a radio where I can listen to obscenely long radio thing. Well, folks, it's been another long night. Oh my god. Oh my god, penis. Just one more item before I go. You thought she was supernaturally whisked away, but now she's just regular kidnapped? I don't think she's regular anything or supernatural anything. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their... The, uh, motion blur makes his face look like it bleeds. Watch. Wow. Let's save it for the party. What the hell? What the hell? What is with the game with the visuals? Okay, so the I get... caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There's <laughs> lots there of holes in that fence. In an abandoned car. Hold on, I need to check here. No, there's nothing. Okay. Hi, uh, hi, uh, hi, tired. I'm dead. 
<laughs> you think his wife is actually a sex doll? It's probably very possible. I'm not oh, this... I can't jump on that. Oh, I can jump on this. Watch this. I can't get over here. The bush is in the way. Can I not walk on that bush? No. Can't climb over this part. <laughs> Sheriff, I'm gonna destroy some stuff! Oh my god. Wake at Lover's Peak, oh my the god. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak. The waterfall and the mountain behind us. The lights of the radio mass blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing. Force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Where's my wife? Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow. Even though everyone going? can... I had to get the sheriff to let me go. Now, you could talk. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. You were fine. You could have talked there. There's two people in that sheriff's station and there's one car parked here. Okay. You okay over there? Right Jesus! Light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. Oh. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Speaking of that, how's Isaac? He's right here. D say hi. He just said a thumbs up. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little. Did you know that doors open like this? Accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been <laughs> reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down. <laughs> Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? <laughs> I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil. Where were you staying before? To invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where. Oh, hey, oh, <laughs> in front of the police, and the police are like, "Stop it! What are you doing? Nobody Take it easy. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. Oh my God! If you have business with Mr. Wake, <coughs> you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press oh charges. God. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Save me, Barry. What the hell was that about? I love Alex? your outfit. We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. He almost got hit by a car. He almost got hit by a car. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In I fact, don't like you. it's the absolute opposite of good. Who would want to have sex with Mr. you? Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just Rosewood. thinking about you, too. Great. 
I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. <laughs> Great hot. to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Ew! What was with the rape Max? look? <laughs> just... What an airhead. Uh. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very I come here nice to rent a cabin where I can wait till midnight. A fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. They have a mammoth skeleton here. Skeleton of Columbia mammoth Mammothus columbi. This specimen, estimated to be fourteen thousand years old, was recovered from the La Brea tar pits in nineteen eighty one. Why is it here? It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998 when the Columbian mammoth became Washington State's fossil. The, became Washington State fossil. Named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. It's from La Brea Tar Pits. Obviously this game was made somewhere near LA. <laughs> They're all like, let's reference the La Brea Tar Pits, guys. Everyone knows Seriously, this, right? Al, what you were saying in the car... Just listen Do you know about yourself. those? I heard about them. It smells like a giant fart there. <laughs> just... But they usually have their they have their own museum, you shot a so. Guy and his body just disappeared. Yes. What was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, Do you and everything's just. And what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? I'm just Don't get me this. wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. This is nice in here. Just... But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a Would ticket you like to a the coffee, funny sir? farm. Right, wait here. Look how big these mugs are. These aren't even like small coffee cups. What the fuck? These mugs are massive. Wait here. I'm gonna sit here and look at the grizzly bear. So realistic. So majestic. I can fit under it. Look, it's like the perfect picture to take. Take a picture of me, Barry. Also, you don't look anything like Barry Burton. Okay. La Brea also translates to the tar from Spanish, so the whole name is completely redundant. Yeah, well. Well. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Oh. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? <laughs> Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. Oh, I got the ball. dog's well, barely moving. It has to be okay. You got lucky. The dog has more character with its noise than it Max does with its groggy from the model. Shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. I guess I'm going because you guys take too long to talk. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing Wait, we were talking to the cops and then you had us leave! I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. Here, it's right next to the dog's head. <laughs> and here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? <laughs> oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Okay. Nice spot too. How do we get up here from there? Just all the if way up. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio map. That's the lover's peak. Like Let's go to that. That's an easy hike. Hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. Okay. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out. It's working. Ha ha! Let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real. F <laughs> just up and leave while he's talking. <laughs> Is this the dog you wanted to shoot? I thought I was gonna Ow. have to. Ow? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry! The killer. Ah, the lamp. Damn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. You're gonna fix the lamp. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. 
Just be careful with the natives. I had 20 batteries. Are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Why are there books here? All over again. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. I can't shoot him. I can't shoot him. It, he just said that he wa that nothing was worth being my agent. That's what he just said. I'm really upset by this. Also, it's 9 o'clock. I think we're ending. For now. We will pick this up again later. I don't know when, but we will pick it up again. Thank you for coming, guys. I hope you had fun with Alan Wake. I'm finding this story to be very blasé, and I'm expecting there to be problems with it. Even more so, because there's lots of little problems already. Uh, we're going to send you somewhere. Who are we sending them to? Uh, go to Cat. She's doing her three years on Twitch. Guys, go to Cat. She's doing her three years on Twitch. I don't even know if we'd be able her to subathon. do that. Yeah. Oh, go to our subathon. Thank you for coming. Goodbye.